What's going on, everybody? So with the NFL season pretty much upon us, not this Thursday, but the following Thursday to start, I think it's Buffalo versus the Rams. Should be a pretty good matchup. Wanted to get into a couple of these fantasy football mock drafts I've been doing the past couple weeks. I've only included the ones where I got an A grade, so I can sort of help you out choose who is getting more consideration for a higher grade overall to help you out to win your fantasy football season. But uh, if anybody I'm playing with in my league is watching this, don't copy any of these teams or players because uh, I'm going to have to take you down even harder. But yes, let's start off with the first group. So yes, it got a great A. The strengths were the bench, which obviously I kind of spread it more with even number of running backs, receivers, so overall, it wasn't too crazy. I guess they thought my secondary bench guys, not even my starters, were as good. Uh, my flex spot was good. And my kicker and tight end were considered my strengths. And when it came to my weaknesses, it says my defense and my wide receiver selection. So yeah, we'll get into who I ended up choosing. And yes, my quarterback for this was Joe Burrow. Who well, obviously I think is going to have... A really good year, especially at the time when I did these mock drafts. It was probably like about a month or so ago. I thought really highly of him just because when you got T. Higgins, Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, who never gets talked about. They have, I think they have a tight end now. I forget who it is. It's not C.J. Uzoma. But they beefed up that offensive line. He still can throw little passes to Joe Mixon who can get out. So he has a lot of good stuff going for him. But it is crazy. I think they had a weird stat saying that his biggest games last year where he got the most points came on like three or four games. And other than that, they were kind of just all right. They weren't the greatest, but he does have a better offensive line. Everything's going good so far health-wise for all that team. So he could have a breakout year, could be an MVP type season. I don't think they're going to get back to the Super Bowl, but it could be a big year for him overall. So I'm kind of putting a lot of chips in him and then my next pick or I don't know how the order of these picks it's obviously different but the running back my starting running back is considered Austin Eckler from where I chose him obviously a big get I've never had Austin Eckler in the past few seasons that he's been fantasy football relevant from the Chargers but I know what he can do a lot of good stuff I wasn't it last year during that Steelers game, he had like a four touchdown game, something like that. So it's always considered in the top ranking of running backs and fantasy football. He was fifth overall last year in fantasy football and the number two, the second running back overall last year as well. Obviously behind Jonathan Taylor, who's the main guy going number one this year. I just, I wouldn't pick him because I don't think you could do the back to back where you're number one overall in fantasy. And then my second running back is going to end up being Saquon Barkley. Yes, last year he was considered the 115th best fantasy football player. Uh, that was obviously due to injuries, missed time, didn't play as many games. But they did shore up that offensive line, but there, ha there have been some injuries since I did this mock trade. So I don't feel as highly on Saquon Barkley. But I still think the way you're getting him later in the fantasy football draft, it is a nice get because he is trying to redeem himself for what has been going on the past couple of years with him in the NFL. And I think it could be a good thing because I don't think Daniel Jones is really going to be as great. So they're good. They're, they might have to rely on Saquon Barkley a bit more than what they have been. And hopefully, health-wise, he's able to take it on. Then my first wide receiver according to this that I drafted, was C.D. Lamb. Yes, I remember him being one of the higher picks that I did in this mock draft. And yes, he obviously has the team to himself. He's the main target receiver out there because, what, Amari Cooper's gone. I think Cedric Wilson's gone. I could be wrong. Uh, they have Michael Gallup, who's still coming off an injury. James Washington, they signed from Pittsburgh, but he recently got an injury as well. Dalton Schultz will be there to help him out, but, you know, he is a good tight end. But overall, I think most of the targets are going to go to C.D. Lamb, which is good because in these Yahoo mock or fantasy football games that we play, it is half PPR. So 
you get 0.5 every reception. I know a lot of people do full PPR, but those points just go astronomically crazy. So I don't like doing that. But I mean, last year he was the 39th best player in fantasy and the 14th overall best receiver. So number 14, can't go wrong with that. My favorite number. And then with my flex, or no, I'm sorry, my second wide receiver, I went with Terry McLaurin. So they're both in the NFC East, but NFC East? Yeah, I think it is. It's weird how you consider Dallas part of the East, but whatever. Yeah, he was the 63rd best player last year and the 24th best wide receiver in fantasy football. I think I had him, yeah, his very first year, his rookie season. He did, he did pretty good. Luckily, I didn't have him last year when he went through a bit more crap and stuff. And I forget if it's his third or fourth year, but I, didn't, I, didn't have, I haven't had him recently. And I think it might be a good time to get him because he did get... A bigger contract which is what he was looking for he was the subject of trade talks he might have gotten traded if he wasn't going to get the contract he wanted but he did and he's the main guy up there yes they did draft the first round wide receiver in Jahan Dotson but overall I still think they're going to go to him a lot and there was something that happened with who they were going to be naming their first starting running back in Brian Robinson but sadly he's going to be missing some time and Antonio Gibson never really did much. I've had to play with Antonio Gibson the past couple years because of stupid auto drafts and he's been okay but he never really shined and did as great as he should have. But yeah, overall I like Terry McLaurin here and obviously a strength of it's my tight end that they said I had was because it's Travis Kelsey who obviously was the 15th best overall player in fantasy last year and the number two tight end overall last year so it's pretty much him and Mark Andrews gonna be going this high maybe a Kyle Pitts as well who did good numbers wise he just missed out on a lot of, a lot of touchdowns I had Pitts last year but if he gets more touchdowns he might be a better guy but you gotta you can't go wrong with Kelsey I think one year I had him he did very well for me and then I traded him midway and then he did even better <laughs> later that year which sucked which didn't help me out, but yeah, overall, maybe I'll keep him longer this year because he does seem to be the main top receiver for Patrick Mahomes this year because Juju Smith is there, but I don't know if he's going to be able to stay healthy the whole time and they don't really have a running game as well, so they could be throwing a lot in Kansas City. Then my flex was J.K. Dobbins, who, yes, is hoping for a breakout year this year could be the starting running back for Baltimore but he did suffer that torn ACL in like fall camp last year for Baltimore so he's been working back from the injury and none of his stats are available obviously from last year because he didn't play but you know he's still a very young guy gonna get a lot of opportunity hopefully in that offense but I think he has been working back a lot slower than a lot of people thought because he hasn't been going like a full go. He'll work a couple days and then get a day off for soreness. So I don't know if that's a good thing or if they're just trying to save him. There's a chance he might play week one according to Coach Harbaugh, but you never know. And my defense I picked was Green Bay. I don't remember the stats for Green Bay last year. They were probably okay, but they did draft a lot of very talented dudes from like even Georgia. They had two of the top picks from Georgia, so that's a pretty good team to get. Even though they're rookies, they're very talented guys, and you still had a lot of good, talented guys around the team last year. There was just a lot of injuries, so taking a chance on the Green Bay defense this year in this mock draft. And then kicker was obviously Justin Tucker. It's available late. I usually don't kick defense, pick defense or special teams until my last two picks, and who's definitely been a top two top three kicker in the NFL ever since he's been around Justin Tucker for Baltimore he's always been the top guy so not really mad about this pick this late then going into my bench ended up getting wide receiver Allen Robinson who yeah I don't remember his stats last year because it always seemed like he was either out or injured or even if he was out there playing he didn't get that many stats in Chicago but he had he is going to be on a better team with the Rams. Obviously a better quarterback of Matthew Stafford. Just have to compete with Cooper Cup, who was my MVP last year, who I had. Also had Debo Samuel, so that's why I ended up winning the championship. But 
Overall, yeah, I think it could be a nice breakout year for him, especially because he did get a nice new big contract, and uh, Odell Beckham isn't there as well. They don't really have a good enough tight end. Higby, I think, might still be there, but they don't really go to him that often. So we'll see. Then another wide receiver, Devontae Smith on my bench from Philadelphia, considered the 103rd best player. I had him for a couple weeks last year, off and on throughout the end of the year, just to test him out, see what he did. A couple times he did good for me, a lot of times he wasn't, but I think that was just because of how bad the coaching was at times, and then the inconsistency of a lot of the players, even Jalen Hurts at times. And injuries popped up in different places, including himself, but could be a nice year for him, even though they did make a trade for A.J. Brown from Tennessee, another talented wide receiver. But Brown is considered the better receiver. Could end up making more attempts thrown at Devontae Smith because he could be open more and only single coverage instead of double coverage like A.J. Brown will get most of the time, so you never know. Then running back Devin Singletary, who obviously now that I know what I know now, I would have picked him higher because he is getting a lot of more pick. He's getting picked higher nowadays in fantasy mocks and stuff just because he's been one of the better running backs for them for Buffalo, especially the last couple years. They haven't really trusted the running back and they did draft a young guy. I think it was James Cook out of Georgia, but I don't know. I still think Singletary is the main starter out there for them. You know, he was the number 66 overall player last year, still even when they didn't go to him that often, and he was the 19th best running back. So top 20, that's good with me. Then next pick was a running back, Rashad Penny. He was 110th best player last year and 32nd best running back, but I did have him for that end stretch, those last couple games he did start for Seattle and he blew up. He had a crazy amount of game. That's why I was able to get into the playoffs and advance in the first round or two. So overall, I think he is going to get a lot more playing time because their rookie running back they selected was injured or is injured right now. So at, at least at the start of the season, it will be all Rashad Penny for Seattle, I believe. And my last pick was wide receiver Russell Gage, at least for the special team. Special specialist was Russell Gage. He was 129th best player last year, which is not too bad, especially on a crappy Atlanta Hawks team. And now he's with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tom Brady's last year. So obviously most of the throws will go to Mike Evans or Chris Godwin if he's out there. But Russell Gage being your third option, he could be in for a lot of good stuff because even Antonio Brown played really good around those guys last year until he he himself blew up so overall this was a pretty nice draft i think it could go all the way um i did this was one of the first ones i did so obviously a couple months back would have made a couple of different changes but overall i think i would be pretty stoked going in to the nfl season with this lineup so not that mad about it Yes, yeah, thanks for watching, people. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.